If you like charcuterie boards and tasting and reviews, then this is the video for you. Stay tuned. Took over my mind. I got a lot to fight, but I got you. Yeah. You kiss me hard to fly. You set my heart on fire. Now we are one. Heart, one soul. I don't know about me, but I know about you, and I got some problems, yeah. I can chill with you and I got comes blue with a good drink in your head We all know we don't need a golden goal to reach right now I wanna see ya and I wanna take you Hi guys, I'm so glad you tuned in today And if you're new, hello and welcome My name is Sharon In today's video I'm gonna share with you a small charcuterie board I am on my way to Wegmans to pick up the components to make said charcuterie board and when I come back I'm gonna share with you all how I DIY a small board for two I'm also going to share with you an aperitif tasting and review I received four bottles four sample bottles of aperitif from house we're gonna taste these sample bottles of aperitif three different ways and give you our review all while nibbling on that charcuterie board it ought to be fun. So sit back, get yourself something cool to drink. Let's go to Wegmans. Oh, but before I do, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells. This helps my channel to grow here on YouTube. Now, off to Wegmans. So I picked up some Swiss cheese. We love Swiss cheese. I also picked up a cheese pa uh, an assortment of cheeses, the Italian cheese board. It has provolone, fontina, parmesan, and asiago. All those cheeses we love. I also picked up a regular block of cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, because um, I like it. I picked up some macaroons. Uh, an assortment of macaroons. I picked up some herb turkey breast. I'm gonna take those and wrap this turkey breast around some uh, sh around some sharp cheddar cheese sticks. I got some marinated. I got some marinated uh, mozzarella balls, and I also got some grape tomatoes. And I picked up some caramelized pecans because I enjoy those. I like that nutty taste sometimes with the nutty cheeses. I think it blends well. I picked up some beef salami. And I also picked up an assorted tray uh, of berries. Uh, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries. I will also be using this in a fruit smoothie. And I got some petite toasts. I got some seedless grape. And I got some plant-based pink Himalayan salt flatbreads. And I and I picked up some European inspired cheeses.
I've got some pepperoni and Swiss, blue cheese, raspberries, blackberries, a cream brie, Himalayan salt flatbread, petite toast, strawberries, grapes, raspberries, some more flatbread. Back here I have some more brie and some blackberries. I have sharp cheddar cheese wrapped in a smoked turkey breast with uh, black peppercorns. I have a provolone. I have some caramelized uh, pecans. And then I'm back to the brie. I love the way that turned out. And as I said before, I've got some, I have some fresh marinated mozzarella. And I have some sangria olives, grape tomatoes, and of course, you all know the macaroons, which are my favorite. Chicottery board all done. Now it's time to unbox the aperitif and do a taste review. Hey guys, let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. So now let's get into the aperitif tasting and review. Let the tasting begin. <laughs> All right, let the tasting begin. All right. These are the four aperitifs that we got from House. And we're going to try it three different ways. First, we're going to do it neat, each one. Then we're going to do each one of them with Prosecco. And we're going to do each one of them with a club soda. So each aperitif done three ways. I'm not a big fan of aperitif. This is new for me. Favorite is probably a Riesling when you're talking about wine. Uh, white wine or Prosecco. This is what I've probably been drinking for the last several years here and this is one of my favorites. Are you much of a wine drinker? I'm not much of a wine drinker. I prefer um, to drink beer. But I do like uh, the Prosecco. What kind of beer? Uh, I like uh, beer. I'll drink uh, an ale. I'm very excited to, to taste the um, the aperitifs today. Right. And for those of you who were like me, who didn't know what an aperitif is, the aperitif is a liqueur. It's not a wine. It's a liqueur that you drink prior to eating your meal. Hence the name aperitif, like an appetizer. We've got our appetizers here today with the charcuterie board that we DIY. So we're going to taste test these aperitifs and nibble on the, on the charcuterie board as opposed to a digestive. So the aperitif prepares the palate for the meal and the digestive, as the word implies, is something that you enjoy after you've had a good meal. Correct. That's my understanding. But again, like I said, it's not a wine and I think a lot of times people get a little confused when they're drinking it. They're expecting more of a wine or even a Prosecco type taste to it, but it's not. This is an actual liqueur and you can mix it. You can have it with a club soda. You can have it with a sparkling, uh, a sparkling wine or you can have it neat just on the rocks. So let's start with the neat. Sure. Let's do it. And which one are we going to start first? Let's start with citrus flower. Well, maybe it's just the cork, um, but the cork is smelling like a white wine. It's fruity, hence the name. I'm tasting orange and I'm tasting a floral. There's definitely a floral note and an orange note in here. And it's, it's strong. It, it, it's, it's warm going down, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But I like it. It's, yeah, I like it. I like the taste. Yeah. Not bad. It's light. Mm -hmm. It's not as heavy. I was thinking it was going to be a little heavier, a little more syrupy, but it's not. I like it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can see how it's. Uh, <clears throat> it could really just prepare the palate for the meal. And then next, we're going to do the prosecco. This is 
is a citrus flower with Prosecco. Now that I like. I like that. You know, <clears throat> this is nice, but I think I like it neat. So far, we'll see. I think what I like is the bubbles that you're, I'm getting from the Prosecco, but it's actually sort of changing. I don't know if it's the honeycomb ice or if it's the Prosecco that's giving, that's kind of washing out the citrus taste to me. I'm not tasting the citrus flower as much. And that's, I think, I think that's what's happening. The Prosecco may be overwhelming right. the, um, the, 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 the hot aperitif. The aperitif. I like Prosecco and I went half and half on this. I think that in order for you to maintain the integrity of the citrus flower, you need to increase the amount that you're putting in there. I'd probably do something like a 70 30 uh, on the side of the citrus flower aperitif to the Prosecco. I like it. I'm not going to put as much club soda as I did Prosecco uh, because I don't want to wash the taste out. So just a splash. And I don't think I'm going to add any ice to it either. Um, I was going to, but I don't know if I need to. We'll see. I think this is chilled, so. Right. The club soda is chilled. You can use club soda or you can use seltzer water, but we have club soda. I like it. I like it better with the club soda than I do with the Prosecco. If you like that fizzy, bubbly kind of, uh, like champagne, um, that seltzer water in here really makes a difference, but it didn't take away so much of the citrus flower taste to it. I can still get that floral, citrusy feel. We were supposed to go um, get some dinner after this, but... Mm -hmm. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know. Don't say that. We don't know. These crackers are good. Order, Order takeout. Uh. Can you stick me one of those mozzarella? Uh, tomato? Yeah. Can you have mozzarella without tomato, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Beef salami. Mm -hmm. Here we go. What you say about my mommy? Uh -huh. Get it? Mm -hmm. That was funny. Boom, boom. Ah. <laughs> and which one is this? Uh, this is the peach passion fruit. Peach passion fruit. All right. Just a splash, you know. Just a splash. I can smell the peach. I smell the peach, but it's peach. not as intense. Again, okay. my in, my thought process when I first received this package was that it was going to be very um, syrupy, and it's not. It's strong, but it's not that thick syrupy type of liqueur. Peach, and it and it does taste like a like top note of cinnamon. It's good. And I'm also getting a grapefruit. I'm getting grapefruit, cinnamon, and peach. And then we're going to do with Prosecco. So I'm going to pull back on the amount of Prosecco that I use. Cheers. Cheers. Big difference from the last time. This actually tastes better. Yeah. With the uh, Prosecco. It's almost like a mimosa. That's yeah, what I'm that's getting. What it is. That's what I'm getting. This I is agree. a lot like a mimosa. Exactly. I like it. And it, this would be perfect for brunch. Peach passion fruit aperitif is the one to go with. I like this with the Prosecco. I, I love the bubbles. I do. Now, um, club soda.
there is something about that club soda that just works. Yeah, it does. It really does. That club soda just really... It brings out the flavor. In it the, does. Uh, in, in the drink. So yes. citrus flower, the uh, notes are a crisp, complex, and refreshing with lemon elderflowers, hints of cinnamon and orange peel. So we were right on that. We yeah. were right on the money on, on citrus flower. And passion fruit is peach, ginger, ah, uh, okay, and nutmeg. Because I was also getting the cinnamon taste, but it was nutmeg. Uh, this complex aperitif is tangy, sweet, and subtly spicy, which makes for a great mimosa. So it is passion flower, fruit, ginger, and nutmeg. That's it. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. All right. So I don't want to read the rosé yet. I want to taste the rose rosé and then we'll read what the notes are on the card. Rose rosé. <laughs> now I'm having mine with ball ice. And I'm having mine neat. very light um, on the nose so I'm getting what you smell when you smell a rose that's what I'm tasting with hints of strawberry yeah very 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 high high notes on strawberry I taste strawberry too yeah and rose mm -hmm. okay next up let's try this with some Prosecco Gonna, um, so I'm pouring in some rose rosé aperitif with honeycomb ice. I like it, but again, you know me, I like Prosecco. I like the bubbles. I like champagne. So, yeah, for me it's kind of di feels diluted. It feels diluted. It does. Yeah. I mean, I can taste the Prosecco, but it overpowers the, uh, the Rose Rosé. Does it? I think so. Okay. <laughs> you know I'm leaving that in. I'm leaving that in. Put that on the B-roll. <laughs> Okay. Um. I gave you too much. <laughs> Three samples and and uh, your hand-eye coordination gets a little challenged, right? Just a little bit. Don't do this and drive. I like it with the club soda. It brings out the flavor, and um, yeah, it brings out the flavor. It really does. Now, what are the notes on this? The notes on the notes on the rose rosé is raspberries, wild rose, strawberries. We got that juicy cherry and juicy cherries. Uh, this refreshing flavor taste is like summer in a glass. I, I agree. I agree. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. So far, which one is your favorite? So far, I like the peach passion fruit. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I like the taste of it neat, and I like the taste of it with the uh, tonic. The club soda seems to brighten them all. I would do club soda as opposed to Prosecco. That's just me. I agree. Okay, guys, we are down to our fourth aperitif. We are a little bit tipsy. Let me speak for myself. Speak for yourself. I am a little bit tipsy. At this point, I would not drive my vehicle. I'm still working on it. <laughs> okay. Um, and the next one is what? Uh, the next one is the, the lemon lavender. 
lemon lavender. All right. Smell. I like the smell. It lives up to its name. It really lives up to its name. You think so? I smell lavender in here. That's interesting. I get the lavender, but there's something else. There's a middle note in here, and I don't know what it is. Lavender and basil. Hmm. I love basil. We always put it in our herb garden. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting with this. Lavender and basil. And basil. What about you? I really get the lavender. And I, I get a, I, I do taste and, and I smell the hint of lemon in in this drink. So hmm. it's a little it's a little heavier than um, the, the other drinks. You think so? Yeah, I think so. It's it, it is very different, and to me, of the four, this would probably be probably be the more complex one yeah. of all that I've tried. We are going to do it now it with nice. we're going to mix with some prosecco. That Prosecco is pulling the lemon out quite a bit. Yeah. More so than when it was neat. I, I was getting a little bit of, of lemon, maybe even like lemon rind and lavender, but with the Prosecco, and I guess it's that, that champagne and sparkling wine is really pulling that lemon and lavender out in this, especially the lemon. Yeah, it's a lot. It, um, it's lighter and um when you add Prosecco, it's a, it's a lighter uh, taste and a lighter feel to the uh, liquor. Right. Right. Okay. All right, guys. And this is it. This is the final taste, test, and review for the lemon lavender in the final sample bottle. We are going to do lemon lavender with a little bit of club soda. Club soda. And as I said before, so far, club soda has been winning out. Um, Club Soda seems to be the winner to me. It has brightened up the flavor of each and every one of these aperitifs so far. Uh, I would definitely mix with the Club Soda as opposed to the Prosecco. Can you believe I'm saying that about my Prosecco? But yes, that is how I feel. The Club Soda or Neat. Either, either one yeah. works for me. Yeah, I, either I like one works for me. Or, or with the uh, Club Soda. Right? Yeah, okay. So here we go. Lemon lavender. Splash of lemon lavender. And a splash of Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I'm telling you, that club soda does something. And I'm telling you, I'm still feeling lemon, lavender, and basil. That's what I'm tasting. I taste the lemon and the lavender as well. My palate isn't as refined, so uh, I, I do pick the obvious notes up. Mm. Okay, well, what does the card say? And which one is this lemon lavender? Uh, floral and citrusy uh, with fresh lavender, juicy citrus, and wild botanicals. Uh -huh. This flavor is bright and herbaceous. 
It doesn't say basil, but I'm telling you, I taste basil in here. I am a basil lover, and I taste basil. That's delicious. And it says lavender and juicy citrus, and the citrus that I taste is lemon. Yeah, I do taste lemon. In I mean, I guess it could be a grapefruit. It could be a grapefruit in here, but... But I taste lemon. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yay! So, yeah. Thank you for inviting me so, to uh, taste test with you. Oh, well, I'm glad you participated. It was nice sharing this with you. It was nice. This was fun. Free drinks. I like free drinks. Free drinks. Okay. <laughs> you can never go wrong with free drinks. Um, this was fun. I, I enjoyed this quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And I would have to say that my favorite was probably the passion fruit as well. I agree, definitely. The no. peach passion fruit was first, and then second, I would have to say, was the, the rose, rose rose. Yeah, was I think we're the same. Yeah, definitely. I agree with you 100%. And all of them no. with the club soda. Definitely with the club soda. Or neat, if, if, if yeah. your palate can handle that. Yeah. And of course, the charcuterie tray. Excellent. Excellent job on the charcuterie tray. And we're going to demolish this once the camera goes off we're also going to order five guys because um we can't get in the car and drive after this yeah yeah i think i want to order some uh some oxtails oxtails yeah. he wants oxtails i want five guys so we're going to place an order for both yeah that works and on that note cheers, cheers. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the content today. I hope you enjoyed my DIY charcuterie board and the tasting and review of aperitifs. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'd also appreciate a thumbs up. I have a question for you. Have you ever tried aperitifs or would you? Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. At the end of this video, you'll see two video links. Click one to see more home decor, DIYs, and all things home with Sharon. And with that being said, have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.